Hi guys, how are we doing today? Rained here this morning a little bit. The sun's out, it's nice and beautiful. I'm gonna do a little tree transplanting. I was down here I figured I'd show you the bowls this here the bowl this here's the bull pen we're feeding hay out in here we cleared this piece of land a couple years ago my spring is right there and there was a lot of trees you can see a lot of tree tops you can see I have a bunch of trees pushed up here the tree roots was getting into my spring and actually clogging the pipes up and giving me some problems so I went ahead and cut them all and cleared it I don't have everything pushed up yet. When things dry up this this spring here, we're gonna push this off and get this cleaned up and turn it into native native habitat. But while I was here, I was gonna show you the, our bulls. These guys are split off from the cow herd. This here's our herd bull. He's out of ferro genetics. He's in pretty good condition for what he's been fed all winter. He's He was fed the poorest quality hay uh, that I had. He's slicking up, shining up nice. Now these calves aren't his calves. They're from another bull I have out of Y genetics. And you can see those bulls are really nice looking bulls. They're all for sale except for this one here. So if you guys are looking for a grass efficient animal, let me know. There's a two year old up here coming. He's going to a herd down in Tipton, Pennsylvania this year. It's gonna work, work for him. Yeah, that's enough of the bulls. And what we got going on down here. It's kind of ugly and it looks like a mess, but we'll get it cleaned up. Just takes time. Got a lot of model flower rows coming in here. There's some Japanese barberry, which are a problem. But the reason we're down here is transplanting a couple catalpa trees into our yard. In an earlier video, you've seen that I had to cut down my shade tree, and it was a catalpa tree, and I really liked the tree, but it had some health issues. So there was a little little catalpa tree growing down here, so I come down here and got it. We're gonna dig another one out. It's a little bigger. It's about this one here is only. I believe this here is a two-year-old. One that's. The other one we're gonna dig out is a five-year-old. It's considerably bigger. Try and get through the fences here without getting shocked. We have a deer fence here. We put this deer fence up before we had this section here. We have this section here fenced off so we can graze it. But naturally we're not gonna get grazed close to the spring because we don't want that into our spring water. So we're very careful in that aspect, but we can still utilize probably an acre's worth of land here and bring it back into production. You know, got through the fence, didn't get shocked, that's a good thing. Sometimes I don't pay attention to what I'm doing and get myself shocked. Well, let's go dig that other tree out and get them transplanted. We actually have three trees that we're going to plant today. I have this one that's been growing in front of my office for a couple years now. I just haven't had a chance to, to get it dug out. You can see it's pretty tall. That tree is only four years old. And see how fast it grows. That's why they make such a nice shade tree because it doesn't take long for them to, to make shade. I'm going to try and dig this sucker out. I don't know. Get 
go grab the excavator. It'd be better to dig it out with the excavator. root systems up one a little bit but one of the nice things about catalpa trees are they're very resilient so we'll be we'll get away okay with with the root damage and go dig another one out here now have another real nice one i've been baby in this tree for a couple years now super super nice tree bit nervous about it because I have an electric line that comes from off that pole over to the corner of my house. I want to put, want to put one right in here somewhere. And wait till you see this little shade tree. It's a beautiful little tree. I'm hoping I can get it dug out. this tree fenced out since it's been a baby. Keeps the livestock from eating it. Eater coming out through here. I'm gonna try and be careful not to destroy that. It's got one over there. We're gonna see what happens, I guess. It's just composted cow manure. It's three years old. Just messed my back up. Did you see that? tree matures it should be back away from the power lines and off. Won't hurt nothing. It should be out of the
we're gonna go ahead and prune this and I'm gonna show you guys how to start trees from cuttings you can't do this with all trees but could help us one that you can little limbs on here and we need to reduce some of the mass on this tree in order for it to survive the transplanting hey Toby how was your walk how was your walk, huh? Hey, Scout, how was your walk? Huh, did you have fun? Okay. Now, if we take a look at these little nodes, if we cut, see right here, that little node right, right on top, of, there was a leaf right there last year, but if we cut that off right above there, a limb will start. So we can cut them back and have more limbs. Okay, we got that pruned back. That tree will do just fine. Now, all these branches, to typically throw them away. What I'm gonna do, we can actually plant these and get more trees to grow. Tree. Oh, it's planted. I got two more to plant. Ah! And I hurt my back. Oh, yeah. You want to help me plant these? Yeah. Walker, come get the leashes! You going to talk to everybody? Where'd you go walking at? We went uh, down by Gary's and up and around by Jared's place yeah and back around to our place nice how far was it uh two and a half miles was it a good walk yeah it's pretty simple this is this this is about as simple as it gets when it comes to start trees from cuttings you see how there's this tip where we cut it off the main lateral every tree you can do this with works really well with hybrid poplars uh, black willows you just take this, stick it in the ground, not much to it. Basically, you want to sharpen the end, put them about six inches apart, and stick them down in the ground about as far as you can get it. That's good. All right, right there. Yep, I'll, hand, I'll cut them off and hand them to you. You can plant them. I don't know if this in here will start, but we're going to stick it in the ground and see. So, I'd really like to take these trees and make them into shade trees. Hey buddy. What? What are you doing? What are you doing? I know. Here, I'll give you this. Here, you ready? You ready? You throw it that way. Dad, this might, this one might not go. Dad, that's as far as I can get it in. Okay, that's fine. Here's one. Let's stick this one in here. Stick them up here too? Yeah, let's try and keep them nice and neat. I don't know how many we have. Probably have 20 or so anyhow. At least. Just stick them in the ground. Here's a good one for you to stick in. Stick that one layered right there. There's a rock. What? Uh. We'll plant them nice and tight. Here, honey, try this one. Oh, that one's got a bend in it. Ooh. Here. There you go. Stick it in. There might be a rock there. Okay, that's fine. I don't know if that one will grow, but we'll try it. We'll try. Dad, it doesn't have a shirt. And my experiences with starting trees like this. Yeah, this one's got a bend in it right there. It ain't no good. I'll put this in here then. My experience with starting trees like this, you get about 50% 50 of them will live. Uh, Scout, move. Move. 
Ready? Get it. There we go. Uh oh, oh, make sure you get them in a nice and neat. You know how Mr. Monk is. Gotta have them in a nice and neat row. Stick one right here. I'll stick this one in. Stick, I'll stick, one in. stick it right there. Oop. Gotta have it nice and neat. Just like Mr. Monk. That's what we are all done, right? Yep, should be able to stick them. That's as far as that would go. Oh, you did bring that back, didn't you, Scout? Ah, uh, I threw it. Let's stick one right. Oh, and we got left. The four left. Let's stick them right here. Oh, let's stick this in there. Mr. Monk, you know. Okay. Oh, now, get push down low to the ground, honey. See how okay. I'm pushing down low? Oh, it's as far as it's gonna go. Good, don't wanna burn it. No, you don't. Stick that one there. This one's is probably no good. Yeah, you never know. Bendy. We'll see. And we'll stick one in hey. an odd spot. Okay, we got, count them. One, two, three, four. Six, seven. Time. How many rows eight. do we have? Hold on. How many rows do we got? We're seven across. Three up. So twenty-one. We've got twenty-one trees. Yep. About fifty percent. So we'll have about ten shade trees to transplant out into the pasture fields. Okay, friends. That's all there is to digging out and transplanting a good size tree that's already started and starting other trees hopefully those little sticks that we stuck in the ground was gonna sprout and make us some shade trees for out in pasture field I'd like to thank thank everyone for subscribing being so supportive to the channel and if you would if you haven't yet please hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell and we appreciate any comments or likes that you'd like to give us I like talking to I've made a lot of friends on YouTube so far and I enjoy talking to you folks and uh, hopefully you're able to take something away. Okay friends, that's it for today. We'll talk to you next week. So long. Bye.